My name is Thomas Anderson and I'm the global solution owner for real estate and contract management at SAP. Today I'd like to speak to you about leasing and supporting the new lease accounting standards of IFRS 16 and ASCA 42. There has been a great deal of hype and discussion about leasing over the last two years with many different strategies on how to best meet the requirements of these standards. As we look at this topic, I believe there are three different levels of change an organization can adopt around leasing. Compliance with the topic, optimization of the real estate portfolio and leasing portfolio, and finally, transforming your leasing operations. Comply means to do just that. Whilst a great milestone is really just the beginning, in this context, one only does what is needed to meet the requirements for IFRS 16 ASC 42. With the comply level of adoption, there are limited changes made to existing business processes, and automation is leveraged where convenient and manual interventions are expected within this process. The issue with adopting the new lease accounting standards with a simple compliance approach is tools are typically selected that support the initial lease valuation, but little consideration is given to how to support lease modifications. It is important to remember that a lease is a living document that changes frequently. Many changes to the terms and conditions of the lease have a financial impact. For example, every change to the lease term, such as a change in the probable end date, a CPI change, or a midterm brokerage fee will impact the lease valuation. And this means all valuation calculations must be reperformed. Determining the delta amounts and recording the update to the required journal entries and asset balances. This results in a huge amount of work with a high probability of error that could result in financial restatements. The second level of adoption is to try and optimize your leasing processes. To optimize your leasing processes, the existing leasing processes are reviewed and there's a conscientious effort to reduce the number of manual workarounds and to look for ways to increase automation. SAP Contract and Lease Management is a great tool to help you optimize your leasing processes. It is a unified platform for lease administrators and asset accountants, and it also supports the standardization of leasing processes for each asset class, meaning you can define a process for a car lease, another process for a computer lease, and yet another for real estate leases. It is a subcomponent of SAP Finance, so all customer developed integrations with SAP Fixed Asset Accounting and SAP General Ledger are eliminated. Because the lease administrator and the asset accountant are working from the same abstracted lease data, all calculations or postings are developed from this data, and the solution will always use the current lease information to perform the lease valuations. How well does this solution work? Well, SAP engaged PwC to test the solution and to deliver an assurance report. In their certification approach, they took the illustrative examples found in the leasing standards and manually calculated the expected results. Next, they created the same example with an SAP contract and lease management, executed the lease valuation calculations and compared the results. And in every condition and case, the calculated results were expected. And when compared with the manually calculated values, they were the same. Finally, they ran different modifications through this process and compared the results. Again, the results from SAP contract and lease management were as exactly as expected from the manually calculated values. These findings allowed PwC to issue the ISAE certification for SAP contract and lease management. This should give every customer comfort. The solution supports the entire leasing lifecycle and accurately calculates lease valuations and completely supports accounting around lease modifications. The third is transform. When trying to transform your leasing processes, there is greater prioritization to focus on strategic needs of the organization. Under this approach, more leasing processes are standardized and dashboards and analytics are highly leveraged. Additionally, there is continuous improvement of data and leases are managed as an enterprise asset. 
This is where SAP has focused many recent innovations for SAP contract and lease management and will continue to place our focus. You will see within S4 HANA 1908 release innovations such as a lease questionnaire. This is a configurable tool that allows the asset accountant to go through a standardized list of questions, respond to those questions in order to assist in the accurate classification of leases and to document each decision related to that classification. This innovation will provide a questionnaire for each valuation rule so you can account for each valuation rule around each accounting standard. A valuation cockpit will also be available that visually categorizes leases and puts them in pie charts and lists all leases by type and valuation rule. Additionally, users will see the number of leases that have incomplete valuation rules and be able to drill directly from the individual contract for further processing or to answer specific questions related to the lease agreements. CDS views have been created that enable data to be accessed directly by SAP Analytics Cloud or SAP BW4 without having to load and transform this data into these applications for analytic reporting. And then we delivered content portfolio and lease administration in these applications. Our pre-delivered leasing content includes information such as totals for base and total rent, number of leases by country and lease expiration by country. The delivered analytics also covers critical date management, such as renewals and terminations, leases by status, and critical valuation metrics, such as leases by valuation type and totals by flow type, such as depreciation or interest. We are confident that these innovations will help you take the next step in your leasing journey and comply with IFRS 16 and ASC 842 and truly transform your leasing processes and make, help you make strategic decisions regarding your leasing portfolio. We have many other exciting innovations in the planning and development cycle for SAP contract and lease management and I look forward to sharing those with you in the future. Please check sap.com slash real estate for more information or to find more information about our powerful leasing solution. I also invite you to contact your local SAP account executive. Thank you for your time and I hope to hear from you soon.